All right, in this project, we're gonna build a random image feed where we come to the page and it's just gonna get a bunch of random images for us. And we'll be able to, in the JavaScript, put in the number of rows we want. Here I have five rows of images, three in each column, or three columns in each row, I should say. And we're not using any kind of API or anything. What we're gonna do is get the images from this, uh, this URL, source.unsplash.com slash random, and then you can put slash and then a size like 300 by 300. Okay, if I put, let's say 300 by 301, that's gonna give me a different image. And what we'll do is have that size, we'll generate a random size and then insert those images into the DOM using JavaScript. So no API, no, no um, fetch requests or anything like that. We're just gonna insert random images into the DOM. So this will be a very short project. We can probably get it done in like a 10 minute video. All right, so let's get started. All right, so let's get started. This should, we should be able to do this in one video because it's not too much. So let's add a title of random image feed. And then we'll add the same for this H1 here. And all we really need in the HTML is a container to put everything, to put our images in. So that's, that's gonna be it for the HTML. Now, before we do any styling, I just wanna be able to get the images and put them in the DOM here. So we're not actually using an API, like we're not making a, a fetch request to an API that gives us image URLs. We're going to use a random URL from Unsplash. In fact, I'll just show you, so make it a little bit easier to understand. If I put in this URL here, source.unsplash.com slash random, it's gonna give me a random image. Now, if I reload, it's gonna be the same image. So what we wanna do in our script is, is create a bunch of image tags with this, but we also need a size. So like 300 times 300, will give me a specific image. If I do 301 times whatever, 302, that's gonna give me a, a different image. So we wanna use those image sizes as well. And, and those should be random. So first thing we'll do is bring in our container. And as I'm, as I'm going here, if, if it's becoming clear what I'm gonna do, I would suggest pausing the video and trying it yourself. And I know I've said that over and over in this course, I'll probably say it a million more times, but I definitely uh, you know, recommend doing that. So let's use query selector here, and we have a class of container. Now the unsplash URL that we're gonna use, I'm gonna put that into a variable called unsplash URL, which is HTTPS, and then source.unsplash.com slash random slash. So that's the, like, the root URL. We do want to have a size, but we're going to generate that randomly. I'm also going to put the number of rows that we want. So I want to get 10 rows of images with three images in each row. So we'll have a for loop here. And let's say let i equals zero. And we wanna say as long as i is less than uh, whatever the rows is, but we wanna multiply that by three because we're gonna have three images per row. And then we wanna increment i. And let's create an image tag so we can use create element. I'm sorry, it should be document dot create element. And in here, let's create an image tag and then for the source, so image dot source, we're gonna set that to some back ticks with the unsplash URL, but we also need a random size. So down here, we're gonna have a function, we're gonna have two functions. One is gonna be to get a random, so get random number. And we want a random number between like 300 and 310. So let's return from this function. I want to round it down, so math.floor. And here we want to take math.random, which gives us a random decimal, and we want to multiply that by 10 to give us you know, a, a random number between one and 10. But we just want to add 300 to that. Okay, so if I go up here and I console log get random number, and we look in our console, 
we get 306. If I reload 307, 303, 306. So I want to now have a function to get a random size and a random size being, you know, 301 times 306 or something like that. So let's return here in backticks. We're going to do get random number outside of the, the curly brace. We'll do a times an X and then another get random number. So if we go up here and we console dot log get uh, random size, we get 309 by 307, 302 by 307. So there's a lot of different combinations. I mean, you might get a repeat image, but actually, no, you won't, because when you use the sizes, it's always random, I believe. So now that we can get a random size, let's go up here and right after this unsplash URL, we're going to put in get a random size. Make sure you put your parentheses and then we just want to put that into the container. So we'll grab the container and we'll append child because we're putting this inside the container every, all the images and it's going to give us, you know, th um, 10 rows of three. So if I save that, you'll see that it's going to put all those images in the DOM. Now we want to style these. We want to create our rows and stuff. So in our style sheet, let's go ahead and for the body here, we're going to keep display flex, flex direction, column, align everything to the center. Let's get rid of overflow hidden so that we have scroll bars. And instead of height, 100 viewports, let's do a min height of 100 viewports. So now we can see our title. All right, and then um, for the title, I'm just going to style that real quick. Just add a margin here of let's do 10 pixels, 0, 0, and let's do text align center. I mean, technically, we don't need that, but we'll just add it. And then for the container, I want to display flex. Remember, all of the images are in the container. So if I turn the container into a flex box, it turns them into a row. And I want to just make sure I align items and justify content to center. And then let's have them wrap onto the next line. So we'll do flex wrap wrap. And we want to have. We want three to be the max in the row. So what we'll do is set a max width onto the container. So max width will do 1000 pixels because each one is going to be 300 pixels. So it shouldn't go past that. All right. And we're going to change the size. See how they're slightly different because of the sizes. They're all in the 300 to 310 range, but they're slightly different. So we will add a size onto the images. Um, so that's it for the container. Now let's do the image. So we'll do container image. And let's just do an object fit cover. We want to see the whole image and then we'll put some margin in between that. And let's set the height to 300 pixels. Also the width to 300 pixels. So now they're all going to be the same size. And let's do a max width of 100% so they don't go out of the container. And that should do it. So if I reload, we should get a whole bunch of different random images. And I mean, it's not going to be the most performant because we're just, you know, we're inserting all these image tags, but and some of them will repeat if they have the same size, apparently. But yeah, we, we should have 10 rows total. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if you wanted to, you could change this to, let's say, five rows and save. And now you're, you should only get five rows of images. And you could even put a select box here, add an event, a change event to it. When you select, you know, five or 10 or 20, you could change the rows and you could do something like that to add on to it. But that's all we're going to do. It is responsive. So it'll, we're using flex wrap, so it'll knock on to the next line. So on small screens, it's just going to be I mean, the rows, I guess, doesn't you know, we don't have 10 rows because or five rows in this case, because it's only 
everything is stacked, but at full screen, it's going to be whatever number of rows you put here. All right, so I know this is a really simple project, but it just kind of gives you an idea of how you can put things into the DOM. We have random images, random image sizes, and putting them into the source attribute of the images, and then putting them into the container. All right, that's it. Let's move on to the next project.